Former Mesa County Elections Manager Sandra Brown is the latest person to face criminal charges connected to a Mesa County election security breach last year. That breach led to the indictment of Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters. Brown is now charged with conspiracy to commit criminal impersonation and attempting to influence a public servant. Both felonies carry potential prison penalties. Our Kyra Isaac spoke with local and state officials about the case that landed Mesa County in the national spotlight and how to prevent a repeat. DA investigator James Cannon filed a 15 page arrest warrant Monday alleging former elections manager Sandra Brown was in on a plot to copy Mesa County elections equipment from the start. Mesa County Commissioner Cody Davis says the scandal does not reflect what Mesa County stands for. Yes, we had a couple bad actors who thought they were doing something good, but in reality didn't under, undercover anything. So, but people can know, people can trust that their elections work here in Mesa County. The affidavit shows Brown emailed state elections officials affirming administrative assistant Gerald Wood would attend a sensitive May 2021 election software update. The problem is while Tina Peters clerk Belinda Nisley ordered Wood a background check and gave him a security badge, Wood was not an administrative assistant. In fact, he was never hired at all and ended up turning over that badge. Technically, I handed it in to her, her deputy clerk, Bel um, Belinda, but um, I assume Belinda was doing that by you know, Tina's direction. The new affidavit pieces together more of Peter's alleged plot, stealing Wood's identity to allow pro surfer Conan Hayes working to prove voter fraud with Donald Trump's attorneys into Mesa County's election software update called a trusted build. The affidavit accuses Brown of helping Peters find and shut off election equipment security cameras just before Hayes arrived. Well, hopefully um, smart, intelligent people see it for what it is, and that's a couple bad actors. And Mesa County is, is, a, is a wonderful, beautiful place to live, and we have wonderful um, people here. And uh, the people down there working at the clerk and recorder's office, and they have taken so much heat this year. Hayes admitted to the New York Times last month he was the man introduced as Gerald Wood during the software update. Brown's warrant details cell phone data and flight records proving Hayes traveled from California to Grand Junction at the time of the update. So far, Hayes has not been charged. Neither has U.S. Representative Lauren Boebert's former campaign manager, Sharona Bishop, who allegedly used her personal credit card to book Hayes a hotel room. Wood told KREX he had no idea Hayes would use his ID badge or why. You know, it, it feels like this was set up from the beginning. They never intended to really use me as an IT consultant. Three Mesa County election staff now stand charged with serious felonies costing Mesa County taxpayers millions and pushing our county into the national spotlight as the poster child for election fraud. That has locals wondering how the county will prevent insider election tampering in the future. Um, I was an election judge this year and I got to see the process behind behind the doors. And it was, it's great. They have um, redundancies, they have checks and balances for everything, and people can really trust their process. Davis reminds people it's voters who choose our elections officials, so choose wisely. In a final twist of irony, earlier DA investigations show Sandra Brown was the election staff member who rejected and deleted already counted voter ballots in both 2020 and 2021 as she attempted to fix a computer error. It was Brown's ballot deletions Peters and her supporters originally pointed to as evidence of election fraud. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Kyra Isaacs, KREX 5 News. Now, Kyra also reports Sandra Brown spent Monday night in jail but was released on a $15,000 bond on Tuesday. Peters, who lost her bid for Colorado Secretary of State, was indicted in March on 10 felony counts including allegations of attempting to influence a public servant and criminal impersonation.